mistakes that I see new business owners doing. Number one, the first mistake that I see business owners doing is they start a business with no protection, no entity. They just get a website, get a logo, get an Instagram page, and they just start selling things, offering their services. So they're running around doing business as their self. When you run around business, doing business as yourself, you're leaving yourself exposed, okay? So anything that you own, your car, your house, your bank account, your savings, all that is exposed because you are the person doing business, okay? So when you form an LLC, you put like a little guard around your money, it's supposed to be a car, and your possessions. So the first mistake I see new business owners doing is they just start doing a business without having any kind of entity in place, no kind of business structure. Your choice for business structure will be either an LLC, or a corporation, a DBA is not a business entity. You gotta either ink yourself and become a corporation or become an LLC or a limited liability company. So mistake number one, they don't have an entity is they do not research their name, okay? They think of a name, ooh, I like it, it's hot. I'm gonna call myself this. I'm doing business, I haven't formed my LLC, so I haven't reserved the name in the state that I'm in. I haven't done a Google search to see if someone else has that name. I have not done maybe a search in Facebook or Instagram to see if someone else has that name. I have not gone to the United States Patent Trademark Office to see if someone else already has that name. So I start my business, I get my logo, I get my website, I get my signage. I've been doing business for maybe a year, two years, and finally I decide I'm gonna for my LLC or get my trademark and the name I've been doing business in and developing goodwill and people know me as blah, 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 is now taken. So mistake number two is before starting a business. That um, the second mistake I see is going to be accepting personal payments for the business. So. You are maybe at a trade show, you're selling something, or you're out and about on the streets going door to door selling something, and people are cash apping you, okay? Now that is going into your personal account, not your business account, okay? So when you are, people are cash apping you, when you are sending out um, a PayPal and you know, your personal, uh, your personal PayPal link, that's, a sign for one, a chargeback. Two, you, you're supposed to be running everything through the business, not you personally. So Cash App, Zelle, going to your personal account is not gonna help the business, okay? So having personal payment methods is another mistake I see. I'm gonna say business banking or banking in general, okay? The fourth mistake I see new business owners doing is they don't run their they don't run their gross receipts or the income that they use the income that they, that they get from the business through the bank. A lot of times, you know, when they get cash, they're gonna put cash in their pockets. They're gonna be put, put cash downstairs. So people are cash apping us to our personal account. A lot of times, we don't even have a business bank account. But when we do, we're not using it correctly. If someone pays you cash, it, the cash needs to go in your business bank account, especially if you're a new business. Now, if you are a business, you've been up and running, you already have a lot of money going through your business bank account, you don't wanna put cash in the bank. I mean, I'm not gonna speak on that on the video, but if you're a new business, if you're a new